So right now, many of you are probably trying to level up your smugglers pass. And as you can see, I've only started as of, what, two hours ago, really? Or let's just say three hours to, to say it exactly. I was playing last night, but I've only really just started today to level up my smugglers pass. Now, there is 90 levels, but I've managed to already get it up to level 39 and extremely quick. Now, the leveling method is simple. You would have to go... All the way up to, I can't show you because I've currently got the things on me, but go to St. Anne, and in St. Anne, you want to go up to the helm. So hold your right bumper, or whatever it is, to fast travel up to the helm. When you're in the helm, you want to go up to the order directory, and you want to grab the orders. Now, the orders that you're going to be getting are these ones here in my journal. You see these standard orders? So it's acquire the gold, gin, rum, yada, yada, and deliver it to a certain spot, as well as the roving, you know? And then when, when you do that, you get the pirates come after you. But rather than going and delivering it, as you can see, I've not even got the items on me. Rather than going and delivering it, all you want to do is come to a place like this, where it's got quite a lot of open sea for pirates to spawn, and then you want to go and put this build on. Because this build I'm using, look, there's pirates right there. This build I'm using, let me kill them and just show you how quick it destroys these pirates. Mind you as well doing this, you're leveling up your kingpin rank. You're getting so much silver and so much contraband. Now my up, my actual auxiliary weapon that I'm about to fire, I'm going to be changing. I can't even fire it. The Lufleur, I will be changing it to Leopold. But just look, when I get close to these, these do hit quite hard. But don't worry about their first initial damage. That was two shots. And they are both dead. So you can rinse and repeat this with that. And you see each one of them dropped me 170 experience. <laughs> Go on then, bud. What are you going to do about it? They dropped me 170 experience. And I'm just going to literally simply come out here, rinse and repeat for a couple of hours and all of a sudden I'll be max flipping level. I'm going to have to go and kill him. And I don't have any long range weapons on me. So let, hopefully that Dobby goes and kills him so I can quickly dock and show you the build. Come on Dobby, I believe in you. I believe in you Dobby. I'll fire that and hopefully he walks into that. Has he got him? Is that going to get him? Oh, there's no poison in the water as well. Dobby! LFL Saucy, welcome to the Death Squad Amigo. Appreciate you subscribing. Or, yeah, subscribing to the YouTube if you follow me on Twitch as well. Or you subscribe to me on YouTube. I'll make sure I give you a shout out while I'm making a video, providing I see it if I'm looking at a screen. So I can't guarantee I'll see it every time because I've got my screen in front of me and then I've got my screen to my side. Let me quickly kill him. So I want to dock. Cheers, mate. You just extended the video. Right. Let's go in and get into this dock. And, guys, as well. I went live on Twitch.tv. Uh, I definitely decided it is a free last night. And what a fantastic stream. Firstly, thank you so much. Secondly, we're going to be going again live tonight. And we're going to be killing Lopez. All the links are in the description down below. However, it's I definitely decided it is a free on Twitch.tv. Come in and we're going to farm Lopez. Just We're going to fill up a world again. Get 20 of us in that world. And uh, just keep going ham. And if there's anything else that we want to do. If you're in there as well and we've got the full world. Well then go around and do your pieces of eight. You might as well do it because none of us are going to kill you. You can just do your helm wager. And go and do your pieces of eight farm without any aggro whatsoever. Also doing this method killing these. Not only are you going to get silver chests and uh, loot. You're going to get a load of pirate balls. I started this with just over a thousand pirate balls. And I'm getting them so quick as well as these silver chests. I can't open them quick enough. So you're getting so much loot. And you're getting so many cannonballs. And experience. So let me show you the build. So if I go into the build, I'm going to go to manage ship. Here we go to weapons. On the weapons, you can see it's probably one of the easiest builds ever. We've got the Zama Zama 3 times 4. We've got it on the front, the side, the other side, and the stern. Now the rear, I'm actually going to change to Leopold 3 because the Leflo, I think, is only going to be good for PvP. In PvE, it's okay, but it's not amazing. It doesn't really do as much as you want because it's a ticking thing. So, because it ticks damage, it's not that great. Now, if it's in PvP, it takes their stamina. But being in PvE, it does not take their stamina. So, there's no, there's no real major benefit out of it. So, let's just go put the Leopold on. Just for argument's sake, I think it is better. Um, it's, it's, it might have better ways of using it. But, um, yeah, that 
for me, is not the greatest. And anyway, with the Zamazamas as well, which you didn't get to see, when you get one of them really tanky ships that come after you, so this is even not a bad ship to go and do your piece of eight run. When you get one of them tanky ships come after you, you've got the Raider, increased cargo rate of the vulnerable effect by 50%. All you literally have to do is when you're hitting it, normally one to two bursts of the shotgun makes a crew attack enabled. And then with a crew attack enabled, you can heal yourself up for 8,000 damage and just constantly heal, 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 heal and damage really quick. This thing is a joke. Yes, you do have to get quite close, but a pirate ship's come towards you anyway. So there's there's no biggie there, right? Let's go to the armor. So the armor I'm using is actually the Royal Custodian. I'll probably change this armor to the Ouroboros. I don't really want to put the Black Prince in it, but I'll probably put the Ouroboros on this um, when I've got it. I have gone and got myself for the Wraithful Ward, um, but it obviously it puts out a noxious gas cloud. Not great for PV, PvE. Probably best for PvP, so I'm not going to put that on right now. But if you haven't got the Royal Custodian, well, then this is obviously going to be better than all of your basic armors. Um, it's not going to be better than the Black Prince, but it's going to be better than your basics because it's got a 1,120 armor. So just put that into consideration. How you get it is with a couple of Sovereigns over in the Yanita vendor or one of the Helm vendors um, in, in the managers. So coming back out of that, uh, the armor as well, the best way to use a Royal Custodian is just using a repair kit once because they take 20 seconds to repair 6,000 damage. But while you're doing it, because the perk on this, you get Fortify, which applies the Fortified effect for 12 seconds after using a repair kit, which increases armor by 35 seconds. So for every 20 seconds, 12 seconds of them, you're going to have an increased armor of 35% if you're constantly taking damage and you're healing. Remember, you don't really need to even use a repair kit on this um, because you're constantly healing off the crew attacks. Let's go, Vomex. New follower on Twitch. I hopefully see you there tonight, Vomex. And yeah, um, you'll see all of that. Now, backing up, let's go to the furniture. Furniture is huge for this ship. So, the furniture we've got, the furniture slot one, is the scrapper station. Restores 8,000 whole health per after a crew attack. So, that's what I was on about. Every time you do a crew attack, which you're going to be proxing so many flipping times, you're going to get 8,000 health back immediately. So, no matter how many pirates come after you, if you've got the tankier ones, you're just going to be out healing all their damage anyway. So, you don't have to worry. And you've got the repair kits if needed, which you shouldn't need. So, you're saving on repair kits. And just staying in the fire for a longer time. Moving down, we've got furniture slot 2. Increased charge rate of the ablaze effect on enemy ships. Now, why do we want to increase the charge rate of blaze effects on enemy ships? Because the perk on the sandbook. So, I'm using the sandbook ship as well. I didn't call it out at the start. Sandbook ship is a DPS ship and it's got Scorch. Deals 5,000 burning damage when you apply a blaze effect on an enemy ship. A blaze will be applied to an enemies in the radius of 150 meters. And increases damages to ship with a blaze effect by 50%. So, not only am I getting the 50% here on that furniture piece I'm also getting an additional 10% so we got 60% increased damage to ships with a blaze and a blaze you're setting fires them immediately and I mean immediately it's so broken this build for doing this method and you're also wondering while I'm here looking at the sales how the hell have you got purple sales because a lot of people are going to ask it in the comments rather than having to reply I'm just going to show you if you go to the store and you go over to the currency when you're in the currency between the box of gold and the chest of gold, there's a seasonal box of gold with 3,000 gold and some sales. Now, the sales, they come with complete coverage of the sales. So, your secondary color will be the major color of the sales rather than the primary color. So, for instance, yeah, we've got the purple one now. But if I went and put on, if you haven't got the premium, um, yeah, the premium pass for the, the battle pass, then you won't have this. But if you don't have that, then you want to put on something like this. You know that white color that you get from the ghost ships? Look, you can blind people. You can cover your whole sails in white. It's the primary color. Rather than it being like the other patterns, let's just say these ones where it's not the primary color, you can go ahead and have the pattern that I've got on, which you got from that store bundle, this one, and it becomes the primary color and looks so flipping fire. So that's that. Um, now we go back to manager ship and we go to furniture. So in a furniture, yet again, we've seen the second one, which increases. No, sorry, that was the charge rate of the blaze effect. So that's going to make us so we get um, our fire on them even quicker, 10% quicker. Maybe it's this one ain't even needed. Maybe it's not even needed, but I've put it on because you might be able to put, find something else and put it on. And if you do find something else and put it on this, let me know so I can obviously go ahead and uh, put it on mine as well. But that's the one I like at the moment. Uh, the second one or the third slot, I've got the gunpowder breach. Increased damage to enemy ships with a blaze effect by 10%. So like I said, you get 50% plus this. You've got 60% extra damage to enemies that are on fire. 
broken. Then go down one to four. You've got increased front weapon damage by 10%. Now, why have I done the front weapon damage? Because as we can see on the side, we've got four top deck and three bottom deck weapons on this ship. So we've got seven on each side. And then on the front of this ship, you've actually got six weapons. So you're missing out on one weapon, but if we put the 10% on the front increase, well then in effect, whether you're shooting them from the front or the sides, you're going to be dealing out the same damage. The blaze effect's a little bit slower on the front because you're missing out on that one cannon, but it's not much. You're missing out on one cannon, six on the front, seven on the side. So it's not much, but the damage is going to be the same. So all you have to do is literally face them, slide to the right, slide to the left, and you just bang, 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 just shoot away, and you've done them absolutely insanely quick. Um, going to number five when this decides to get off of my thing, but we can still see what it is. I've got spiked warhorn. Now the reason I got the spiked warhorn is because it's got increased charge rate of crew attack by ten percent. Now having the increased charge rate of crew attack by ten percent means, well, obviously for one we can deal the crew attack, which does a lot of damage, but two we're getting that healing, that eight thousand healing from the first furniture, even quicker. So rather than having to wait that little bit longer, we are healing up 10% quicker every single time. So I'll go out, kill a couple more pirate ships, just so you can see this yet again. And then uh, get the build for yourselves. Try it out and let me know what you think. Um, and yet, yeah, how to get the sandbook. Also, yet again, in one of the helm vendors, you need to over in Telok. I don't know the name of the person in Telok. You buy the, the sandbook for 5,000 pieces of eight. Um, if you don't have the sandbook, then I'd say do the same thing, but use the basilisks on the side and uh, use use my snow build basically, but put the, the crew healing on it and uh, it will help you out so much more as well for that. Oh, I can't use this. I can use it now. So yeah, let me go and show you as you can see the front damage. I'm just going to brace the first hits that they put on. Now I've braced that. I'm going to hit them with the side. He's going to set a blaze. I'm not even shooting right now and you can see both of them die. Just because they've both been set ablaze. And on the side, I've got 170 per... Oh, sorry. 170... Damn, he's going to hurt. 170 armor. Um, What am I even on about? Experience each one I kill. So, I kill that. I want to set one of these ablaze. I don't need to set both of them ablaze. I didn't manage to set him ablaze there. But if I set him ablaze now, then this one will get set ablaze. And you can see his health's just going down. I'm not going to shoot. You can just see his health just chunking away. And if I shoot, well, then it goes down even more. If you don't hit the water, then you take him down ridiculously quick. And then if I'd have used a crew attack, then I'd have just healed my health up back up to full. But the worst case scenario, you use a small kit on this and you're 6,000 with only 35,000 health. You're healing up all the way really, really quick. And not only that, you're also getting the experience super flipping quick to be able to... Uh, Level up your smugglers pass. And yeah, if you do want to obviously understand what I mean by... So there you go. I've just earned another mark. It just refreshed itself by just killing them six. So you can just see how quick I'm, I'm leveling up. If you do want to see exactly where to go and get the bits and bobs, all the contracts and this, that and the other, then go to the video I just um, put on YouTube, which is discovering how to level up fast or leveling fast. In that video, I showed you, I went through every single method of leveling up. And I was trying to find the best one. It turns out this is the best way. And it turns out this is the fastest ship to kill them. So you get more to spawn. And you can just literally rinse and repeat and level up this thing flipping, flipping quick. So without further ado, guys. It's a short one. But like, follow, comment, subscribe. There's a sandbox build. And there's a way of leveling up. See you in the next one. Peace. See you on Twitch. See you on Twitch.